Terry Dunby Diggity, bottom left-hand corner, we have Etric, who is a Peruvian Terran. And BSL, this is BSL Season 12, Round of 16, Group B, by the way. Blue Terran, bottom left-hand corner, upper right-hand corner, we have Fisheye as the... Even though it's red, that's uh, Clan Red, Fisheye is a German Protoss. I think red is a... I'm not sure if it's German exclusive, but they're pretty prestigious European clan. Upper right hand. I've seen Fisheye in other matches. He's very he's a really good player. I believe he practices here and there with Master Ray. And is kind of in that grouping. This is on Blue Storm, which has produced a lot. I know there's been a lot of complaints. Perhaps just because of... I think what it, what's happened is there's just been a little bit of being spoiled recently. Because we've had Polypoid. There's been Eclipse. There's been like a lot of these maps recently have been like maps that are really well-balanced, popular, interesting maps. Fisheye might, are we seeing maybe 12 next? I'm not sure. Pylon plopping down, but the probe immediately scouting after it rather than after Gateway. Wanted to get that scouting information a little bit earlier. Supply Depot alongside the refinery. And I am, hmm, maybe a Gateway First opener here from Fisheye. And honestly, this is going to be hard to defend. Yeah, definitely a Gateway First opener. And a Gas Deal. Okay, that was the logic. Derp. So Pylon moving, Pylon scout to get that gas deal, but this is going to be double detrimental for Etric because, yeah, the Zealot's going to be right on top of this SCV line, kind of in this, in this defensive structure, rather than seeing kind of a block here or some semblance of a block towards that natural expansion. So it's going to come down to Etric doing some micro, plus it's going to be, there's going to be considerable delays. Ooh, let's see if that probe gets killed. There's going to be considerable delays on that factory follow-up. And are we going to see... Yeah, okay, we're going to see the uh, double gateway, maybe? Another pylon being plopped down. Another probe making its way across. So this probe's been damaged. Another one being moved. And a bar... Wow. Etric following this up with a proxy barracks. This is nuts. And another supply depot alongside. So... First zealot being produced, it looks like it's going to be an attempt at one zealot harassment in to expand, perhaps. But Etric going to produce a handful of marines and counter this with cheese. I don't know if Fisheye is going to smell this or not. Has two probes to deal with this initial marine. First marine out, two SCVs trying to defend. Some nice micro thus far. One probe down, second probe taken out very rapidly. First zealot making its way across the map. And the barracks ha is finishing... And the question is, is Fisheye going to... Yeah, Fisheye is going to wander up and try to follow this up with the Nexus, being none the wiser. So as long as Etric uses SEVs to defend this otherwise, should be able to sneak in and maybe get... I don't... Here's the thing, though, against Zealots. It depends on how many Zealots are produced to defend at home base. Okay, Zealot making its way in. Etric not responding very rapidly. So two Zealots... Or sorry, two Marines might get killed. Okay, able to sneak through there. Working on that assimilator. And no additional Zelts being produced. SCV in the main. We already see two Marines here for Etric. Once this assimilator's taken out and this Zealot's taken out, and I guess this additional Zealot taken out, keep in mind the rest of these Marines can go join for an attack on the main. Need to be a little bit careful. Some SCVs coming across the line. Still just sitting on the two Marine count here as far as the proxy marines, but this is going to be six marines against maybe a zealot. Assimilator warping in. No cybernetics core just yet. So five marines going to make their way across. The marines still... Okay, now additional marines being produced out of that proxy. Does see that nexus warping in. There's the cybernetics core. Etric bring practically everything, though. So this is do or die right now. And the Zealot sees it. Nexus warping in. No cancel. Marines moving their way across. Here we go. Can the Zealot plug the gap? Not plugging the gap. It's rallied to the wrong location. It's going to die before it even provides any semblance of a defense. Probes coming off the line. Shield battery dropping. Going to work on that pylon. If that pylon falls, that is all defense that Fisheye can muster. Going through the gap, a little bit of disruption. The Marines not able to quite group up as they might want to. Zealot sneaking back. Probes using that shield battery. A bunker is being built. 
It looks like Etric is getting the better part of these engages, though. Everything getting wiped out. Needs a win here, because there's... Well, actually, there's still plenty of SCVs at the main. Nine probes left for Fisheye. Fisheye gonna GG it right there. Ha! <laughs> so... More often than not, you see, you know, cheesy Protoss, whatever, but this time... This time it is Etric who holds the eight fist and is able to bring it down upon his opponent. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Game one, gruesome creativity going to Etric. Thanks for listening.